Ever awaken to a fresh morning only to be greeted by your own not-so-fresh morning breath? Ever wondered why that happens? Yes, we've all been there. We stretch, we yawn, and then we get a whiff of what can only be described as a cross between a damp sock and last week's garbage. It's the infamous morning breath, the bane of early morning conversationalists and the secret terror of overnight guests. But why does this happen? Why does our breath smell perfectly fine one minute and then come sunrise? It's as if our mouth has been hosting a party for every foul odor known to mankind. Welcome to the mysterious world of morning breath. This is a place where biology, chemistry, and the simple act of sleeping all conspire to turn your mouth into a breeding ground for bacteria and bad smells. It's a world that's as fascinating as it is, well, a bit gross. But don't worry, we're going to explore it together, and by the end of our journey, you'll have a newfound understanding and appreciation for what's happening inside your mouth every morning. You see, the story of morning breath begins when we close our eyes and drift off to sleep. As we slumber, our mouth becomes a playground for various types of bacteria. These microscopic critters don't just live in our mouth, they thrive there, feasting on leftover food particles, multiplying in the warm, moist environment, and producing waste products that, you guessed it, smell pretty awful. But the plot thickens. These bacteria aren't just any bacteria. They're anaerobic bacteria, which means they don't need oxygen to survive. In fact, they prefer environments where oxygen is scarce, like the inside of a closed mouth. And guess what happens when we sleep? That's right, we close our mouths, creating the perfect anaerobic playground for these bacteria. Well, the answer lies in understanding the chemistry of our mouth and the bacteria that call it home. So buckle up, because we're about to dive deep into the world of oral microbiology, chemistry, and the secrets behind your morning breath. Let's unravel the mystery together. The first piece of the puzzle? Our mouth is a bustling metropolis for bacteria. Imagine it as a teeming city of microscopic inhabitants with a population that rivals even the largest metropolises on Earth. Among these residents, there are the good, the bad, and the smelly. Yes, you heard it right, the smelly. Just like in any city, these bacteria interact, grow, and multiply in diverse ways, each playing a unique role in the ecosystem of our oral environment. So let's meet some of our mouth's microscopic citizens. First up, we have the beneficial bacteria. They're the unsung heroes of our oral environment, helping to break down food, protect our teeth and gums, and even aid in digestion. They're the good guys, the bacteria you'd want to have around. Then we have the harmful bacteria. These are the troublemakers that can lead to tooth decay and gum disease. They feed on the sugars in our food and drink, producing acid that can damage our teeth, but they're not the primary culprits when it comes to bad breath. That dubious honor goes to another group of bacteria, known as anaerobic bacteria. These bacteria thrive in environments where oxygen is lacking, such as the crevices of our tongue and deep within our gums. During the night, as we sleep with our mouths closed, these anaerobic bacteria have a field day, multiplying and creating waste products that contribute to morning breath. Among these waste products are volatile sulfur compounds, or VSCs. These compounds have a distinctive and, let's be honest, rather unpleasant smell. They're the same compounds that give rotten eggs their characteristic odor, and it's these VSCs that make our breath smell less than fresh when we wake up in the morning. So these bacteria, especially the ones that are anaerobic, play a crucial role in the morning breath mystery. But that's just a part of the story. Stick around as we delve deeper into the mystery of morning breath in the next scene. Now, what makes these anaerobic bacteria particularly interesting is their love for solitude and their production of something called volatile sulfur compounds. Anaerobic bacteria, as the name suggests, are unique microbes that thrive in environments with low oxygen. Think of them as the introverts of the bacterial world, preferring to keep to themselves in the cozy, oxygen-deprived nooks and crannies of your mouth. And just like some of us enjoy a good cup of coffee or a piece of chocolate, these bacteria love proteins. They feast on protein-rich food particles left behind in your mouth, breaking them down in a process called proteolysis. Now this is where things start to get a bit smelly. As these anaerobic bacteria break down proteins, one of the byproducts they create are volatile sulfur compounds, or VSCs for short. VSCs are responsible for the distinctive, unpleasant odor we associate with bad breath. The volatile and volatile sulfur compounds refers to their ability to evaporate easily, 
meaning these smelly compounds can quickly spread throughout your mouth and be expelled when you talk, yawn, or even just breathe. Three primary VSCs are hydrogen sulfide, methyl mercaptan, and dimethyl sulfide. Hydrogen sulfide is the one that gives off that rotten egg smell, while methyl mercaptan is associated with a scent similar to rotten cabbage. Dimethyl sulfide, on the other hand, is often described as having a sweet or slightly repulsive smell. So, every morning when you wake up with that all-too-familiar bad breath, you can thank these anaerobic bacteria and their production of volatile sulfur compounds. But don't be too hard on them. They're just doing what comes naturally, feasting on proteins and producing smelly byproducts. But wait, there's more! How does a dry mouth fit into all this? Aha! Ever noticed how your mouth feels dry when you wake up? There's a connection there! Let's dive into a fascinating journey through the nighttime landscape of our mouths. While we sleep, many of us experience a reduction in saliva production. Saliva is our mouth's natural cleaning agent. It washes away food particles and helps neutralize acids produced by plaque. But when we sleep, the flow of saliva decreases, resulting in a dry mouth. This is a condition known as xerostomia. Now here's where things get interesting. This dryness creates the perfect environment for a specific type of bacteria to thrive. The anaerobic bacteria, the same little culprits we talked about earlier. These bacteria are quite the party animals, thriving in environments with little to no oxygen. And guess what? A dry mouth is just that. An oxygen-deprived party hub for these bacteria. As these bacteria get comfortable, they start to break down proteins in your mouth. This breakdown results in the production of what we call volatile sulfur compounds, or VSCs. These VSCs are the primary cause of that less than pleasant morning breath. Three common types of VSCs are hydrogen sulfide, the rotten egg smell, methyl mercaptan, the barnyard smell, and dimethyl sulfide, the cabbage-like smell. And these are just a few examples. The more these bacteria party in your dry mouth, the more VSCs they produce and the stronger your morning breath becomes. But don't panic. This is a totally natural process. It happens to virtually everyone. The dryness in our mouths while we sleep is simply an open invitation for these bacteria to thrive and produce VSCs, leading to what we commonly know as morning breath. So we've got bacteria, VSCs, and a dry mouth. But there's still one more piece to this morning breath puzzle. Stay tuned as we continue to unravel this mystery in our next segment. Our final piece of the puzzle, the metabolism of these bacteria and their waste products. So, let's dive right into it. These bacteria that call our mouth home aren't just hanging out for no reason. They're breaking down proteins left behind from our last meal or even dead cells. This process, known as metabolism, is how they survive. They're like little recycling centers, turning waste into something useful. But here's the kicker. While they're busy metabolizing, they're also producing waste products. In this case, waste products include volatile sulfur compounds, or VSCs. These are the compounds that give off that all-too-familiar morning breath stench. It's a bit like the bacteria are throwing a wild party in your mouth while you sleep and VSCs are the smelly aftermath. So in essence, your morning breath is a byproduct of bacterial metabolism. It's a sign of the microscopic ecosystem at work in your mouth. And there you have it, the mystery of morning breath solved. Now that we know why we get morning breath, what can we do about it? Well, the answer is simple, and it lies in our daily habits. First off, proper oral hygiene is key. Brushing your teeth twice a day, flossing daily, and using a mouthwash can significantly reduce the number of bacteria in your mouth. Not to forget, cleaning your tongue is as important as brushing your teeth, as it can harbor a lot of those pesky, anaerobic bacteria. Next, staying hydrated is crucial. A dry mouth is a playground for bacteria, so keeping your mouth moist by drinking plenty of water can go a long way in combating morning breath. Lastly, a balanced diet plays a significant role too. Consuming less sugary and acidic foods while incorporating more fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can help maintain a healthy oral environment. Remember, a fresh breath is just a few good habits away.